Sometimes while we're traveling on this trek across the state to see all the state parks, we stumble upon other things in local communities that we had no idea were here, such as the Sharon Mills Grist Mill? Well, now it's Sharon Mills County Park. Now, <laughs> now it's a Washtenaw <laughs> County Park, but there at one time it was operated as a grist mill. Yes. And it also is connected to Henry Ford because we keep finding things that are connected to Henry Ford. And something that we never knew is he actually tried to decentralize the automobile process, even though he was the one that kind of put everything together with the assembly line. He also wanted to get the farmers involved and he knew that they couldn't always move to the city um, and they still needed to farm the land. So he tried to operate an operation here where part of the time you'd come to work in the factory and part of the time that you'd be out in your field. And while apparently it didn't work out exactly he has, as he had planned, it still seemed to be a pretty good operation and a pretty good try at trying to combine some different industries. Yeah, it's just amazing how sort of the fingers of Henry Ford kind of go all over Southeast Michigan in particular, and, and you see all the different things that they tried. But it's really cool. Washington County has been able to preserve this building. Um, it's been used for a number of things over the years, including it was a winery at one time, it was an antique store. Um, there's some connection to former Governor Swainson yeah, so, they, they say an antique store, it was an, an It was an antique store. There's just a lot of random history that happens. As We were just driving along, and we saw this cool building by the River Raisin, which we also didn't realize the River Raisin came this far over. Um, and yeah. you said, hey, there's a historical marker. Yeah, I we're driving along, and I'm like, the River Raisin? Wait, what is that? Because we'd been on Sharon Hollow Road, Sharon Village Road, Sharon Mills parking lot, and we're like... Then we drove by Sharon Mills. And so we were like, who is Sharon Mills? Well, turns out that Sharon Mills is named, not is a person, but was a was Sharon Township. And now the mill is named after the township. So we still don't know who Sharon was, uh, last name, first name, who knows. Uh, but this definitely has a history going back to actually like the 1700s when it was first founded in this area and then became a township. and everything else so yeah quite a big history here actually for being out in the kind of middle of nowhere yeah sorry there's a lot of mosquitoes because it oh. just got done raining and they keep <laughs> trying to hone in on me but anyway so the point was you know if you're passing along and you see something that looks cool maybe turn around and go look at it and you might learn something we certainly did today yeah this was cool